All right, that was hella fun. We're just going to do the exact same thing as last time. I'm just going to leave the AI on brainless because they actually were fairly good. Do you want to have one more AI? Do you want to go full five player? Yeah, sure. Let's do that. Okay. Corporate error rules. Everything is good. Okay, so I've done eco line. Eco line is okay. UNMI means I can effectively have stupid terraform rating, but there's nothing else exciting about this. I almost kind of wish there was a mulligan button. I don't want to do beginner. I I wish I could reduce the remove the beginner corporation for one of the other ones. But yeah, eco line's kind of boring it means i get a bunch of trees but i have to have cities to kind of capitalize on them properly and that can be a bit of a, a crapshoot united nations mars mars initiative starts with honestly the least amount of resources that i've seen so far And the question is, do I want to do Eco Line? Because I've won. I've won every every game of Terraforming Mars I've ever played. I wasn't particularly excited about Eco Line when I played with them. I, the plant production was nice, and I could go bananas with it. Bleh. What do you guys think? Ecoline, UN Mars Initiative, or Mulligan, start over, find, uh, find different corporations that are more interesting than these. Flip a coin, but there's three options. Restart, these are not passionate. Uh, yeah, sure. Let's forfeit. We lose. Okay. Local. We'll try again. Add, 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 add. Okay. Create. That's fast. Okay. Credit core. Start with shit tons of money. After you pay for a card or a standard project with a basic cost of 20 or more, you gain four. Huh. Sure. <laughs> Credit core. <laughs> Why not? <laughs> Multi-billionaire Bard Hunter likes terraforming, especially when it involves hurling asteroids at Mars. He also has a hunch that it's going to pay off. His company, Credit Core, has all the resources he needs to jump right into the contest. That sounds good. I wonder if that accounts for... Uh... Okay, so we want stupidly expensive stuff. Okay, so advanced ecosystems is kind of awkward. Hello, add an animal to this card. Minimal, minimum plus two temperature. Ooh, this one's a mix. Because if I can get this, it on its own is going to be worth like four, three to four. Yeah, so we want to we want to get fish. We want to get Deimos down. And we probably want to get Noctis farming. I think the rest I'm going to skip. Maybe. Crash one of the moons into the planet. Nothing will go wrong with that. I know, right? Alright, Deimos down! Use. Gets me some heat production. Gets me some metal. Alright, what else do I have? 
Uh, Noctis farming needs it to be just a bit warmer. I've got 21. 21 doesn't get me much. It gets me an aquifer if I wanted to, or I could sell a patent, but that's silly. So let's wait. Let's see if... Let's cross our fingers that they raise the temperature two more time, times. Let's see. Did he just say he crashed a moon into a planet? Yep. I just... I just crashed Deimos in. Also, where's, where's a mon? Is that a card? Or, no, it's a mountain or something. Okay. Wait, no, that absolutely looks like a city. Sucker got a city down immediately. Who do you steal money from? Probably me. Now, the question was, was the moon visible at all, anywhere, ever? I have no idea. Okay, so nobody raised the temperature. I guess I'm just going to pass. I can't do anything. I'll just save my money. And then they start raising the temperature. You crash it into somebody else's property. I think that would be illegal. Uh, let's see. So everybody's starting to pass. Maybe five corporations was a mistake. It seems like it only really slowed this down as opposed to actually made this more interesting. But, you know what? Ooh, you learn, you learn. Okay. Got to finish your turn. A lot of these guys are actually hurting their income. Wait, why that? Oh, I see. Yeah, I guess that works. Could have waited a little bit more. And to the bottom of the order I go. I weep. Let's see if I get anything exciting. Well, on the plus side, the temperature is at 20, so we can get the other stuff. Okay, so what do we want? Building engineers, cost of power, gain metal. Not a bad idea. Or processor. Bribed committee reduces my victory points but increases my terraform rating or processors spend four energy to gain one titanium and one oxygen rating symbiotic fungus I'm not really passionate about any of these which is a bit of a shame yeah, the minus two victory point offset is is benefited. Yeah, no. We absolutely are going to want to go with bribed committee. Like, that's that's totally fine. I'm just trying to decide if there's anything else that I want to grab. Uh, let's see. I'm just going to grab building industries. I don't have much need for, for metals at the moment, but, like, I don't have anything. Last... Last time I started with some some decent cards, I'm just trying to figure... Well, last time I started with some decent cards and, like, stuff kind of fell into my lap. This time around, it seems a little bit more random. Can you turn Mars into a water world? Sadly, no. Okay. So what do I do? I have 38. Bribed committee isn't terrible. Noctis farming isn't terrible. Well, we could do Noctis farming on the cheap, because I have four metal just sitting around for me ready now. 
So why don't we do Noctis Farming? Cost of two. Halfway tempting to chuck a city down somewhere. Yeah, do I want to just plonk a city down? Seems a bit silly, but I'm going to do so. We're going to get the free card, and this way my forest will get me some extra free cards and some metal. Not that I have much for forests. Uh, I don't know. End turn. Yeah, that hand management that I had that, that last run was stupidly good. I'm kind of missing it. I almost wish I had utilized it more, but eh. Okay, so what do we do? Bribed committee? Yeah, let's bribe that committee. Sooner, sooner I do that, the better. Because the extra terraforming score is really good. Okay, so... I think everything else is going to be too expensive for me right now. So, end turn. We're going to want to work on uh, upping my plant production, probably. If I can. But really what we want are just stupid, expensive, big cards to just toss. I just haven't gotten any. Okay. I guess one option I, I could have. Eh. Well, giant ice asteroid. Place an ocean tile. Draw two cards. Gain five plants or add four animals to another card. I mean, that would be incredible if I waited on that one. Hmm. So... Large Convoy is amazing, and I want it. The thing is, I want to wait on Large Convoy till later. Namely, I don't want to use Large Convoy until I have my fish down. And my fish require minimum 2 degrees temperature, which is going to take a while before we, before we get to that. It's honestly really tempting to buy all of these. I'd like to use Giant Ice Asteroid, like, right now. But there's no way I'm going to be able to afford it this round. I might skip Mining Expedition. Because, yeah, no way, no way in hell am I going to be able to play either Large Convoy or Giant Asteroid... Ice Asteroid... Specifically, so we're, we're just gonna up my income right now and we'll go from there uh, Let's see is wonder joining stumpness tonight. Nope. I won't be joining stumpness till maybe Saturday of next week And even then I don't know or I guess next Saturday uh, They might ping me for other stuff as my schedule is pretty open But stumpness is very much a stumped thing. So I will not intrude. Maybe next year. I'll try and like uh, it integrates slightly further. But I've only been here for a couple of months. Well, almost a year. Okay, so I got 26. There's not much here that I can do. So we're just going to pop the acquired company, which ups my income by a nice solid three. And then I think that's pretty much all I can do. Or effects. 
Yeah, no actions available. Nothing else I can do. Just kick back and wait. Then we'll drop our giant ice asteroid on the next round. I can't imagine that they're going to burn through all of the ice tiles in that short amount of time. Or not ice tiles, the uh, the water tiles in that amount of time. It's entirely possible. Okay, let's let's just pass. I I think I will keep my games to four players or less. Just purely because of the speed. It'd be tempting to actually play solo mode. Oh, that'd be fun. Just try that without any other players? I might be able to do it, too. Eh, it'd be tougher, though. I'd have to change how I play. But yeah, I want I want them to get the temperature up real high, real fast. Because if we can get fish, oh, I'd be happy. Space elevator. Spend one steel to gain five money. Shit, that's good. Okay, what tags am I looking at? I uh, medical lab is pretty good. Space elevator is pretty good. The problem is all of these are really nice. Because re release of inert gases... I don't think it'll pay for itself, but it's worth two victory points and nice income. Asteroid is probably the least useful of them. I am just hoarding cards. It's probably a stupid idea. At least my income can kind of handle it. Okay. We're putting that oxygen up faster than I'd like it, though. Okay, so what do we got? We don't want to do medical lab. Space elevator is tempting as hell. But honestly, I think my best idea right now is the goddamn giant ice asteroid. Okay, so I'm going to get one there, and I want the cards. I wish I could see my hand during this. I'm going to go for the metal, because this will leave me with some metal that really cranks up my my stuff. All right, and let's hurt Tharsis Republics. Okay, this leaves me with five. That ain't much to work with. That ain't much at all. All right, skip my turn. I mean, on the plus side, my income is getting better every round, so it's kind of okay. But like, oh boy, everything is expensive, and I don't, I don't have the stuff to reduce the costs. But at least I got some titanium product. No, 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 titanium production is the other one. It's okay. We've we've got the fish combo. At this point, all I want are cards that might just increase my income, maybe. Definitely my terraforming score, but I'm doing pretty good at that. Uh, let's see. Anything else that I can do? Milestones, Terraformer. I might actually be able to get Terraformer for once, which is rare. 
I'm not very good on builder. Planner, it's okay. Thermalist is, yeah, I never go for Thermalist. That never works. Banker might not be a bad idea, but half my income is through my terraforming rating more than anything else. So, oh well. And now we wait. Yeah, the problem with big expensive... Uh... The problem with big expensive card expenditures is I'm not actually putting down a whole lot. But my income is good. This is what is it? 35 per turn? That's not bad. Okay. So, obviously, hmm. Interstellar colony ship would be interesting. Soleta is ridiculous. I thought I had more money than that. No, no, I didn't. Uh, let me see my cards. So... I have one more space event in hand. So optimal error breaking is not actually that good. Yeah, Soleta, not great. Grass is not terrible. We're just gonna grab grass. I like the idea of the interstellar colony ship, but I have no science tags. So I'm not a, I'm not even going to attempt. Okay, so I got 36. Still want to hold off on large large convoy. Now my options here are go space eight space elevator yeah let's let's go space elevator we're going to reduce the cost using all of my titanium but that still keeps it above 20 I then we're gonna save we're gonna stay save my steel okay and I'm still at 19 so that's good because that means I can put down maybe the medical lab but I think I want to wait on that because I'd like to get building industries down as well. We could just get release of inert gases. Or we could go for grass. Oh, somebody took my plants. Oh, well, I wasn't actually working for those. Uh, nearly as much as I should have been. So, release of inert gases. I mean, tundra, tundra farming is good. We're still a little bit off of that. I guess my best interests go to, we're just going to buy a power plant. Because the sooner I get those buildings down, the higher my income goes and the more money I get. Uh, let's see, so enter. Somebody is doing ant nonsense. Luckily, I don't have microbes, so I don't have to worry about that. Because if I remember right, ants stole microbes. I think that's the case. Somebody just nuked shit. That's a nice little special effect. I like that. Yeah, so I see some people messing with micro microbes. The one guy is giving himself tardigrades. Uh, what? Okay. Alright, so I've got a little bit of money. Let's get the building industries.
and get a bit of money. I probably should have used that metal for a discount. Would have only saved me two, though. Eh, it's okay. I'll just use it on the, the extra metal on the med medical lab on the next round. Because I don't think that extra money would have been able to get me grace. Nope. Alright, and turn. Definitely need to start chucking down some forests, though. Because things are going up quick. First time I've seen the digital game. I think they've done a decent job. That's where I'm at. Like, I, I was... I was a little bit worried that it was going to be junky or buggy, like some of the reviews said, but I have yet to run into that problem. It might be more of an issue. Whoa, have people already funded awards? Landlord and Miner. Well, actually, hmm. I might be able to compete on that one. Okay, I've already taken my action. So we'll just pass. Uh, let's see. Yeah, so this one might be dicier. I might not win this round. I don't think I like this corporation as much. They're good, but they're too reliant on big, showy moves instead of actually useful things. And maybe it's not as big of a deal, but still. Media archives. Gain one money for each event ever played by all players. Comet's kind of worthless. Sabotage is kind of neat. Protected habitats. Be terrible. So... I can't imagine Media Archives is actually worth something. Comet at this point is redundant for me. Well, I did say I just kind of wanted to clear clear my hand, yeah? It's tempting. How much... Okay, fish Fish still needs some, some warmth before we can do anything with fish. I guess the other thing to question is, are any of these buildings? The answer is no. Media Archive seems like it would be hilarious. But, eh. We could sabotage someone. I'm going to grab sabotage. It's a small cost for maybe useful things. Okay, so next up, we don't have any other buildings to put down. So let's get the medical lab down. Let's see. What else do I do? Grass? Or tundra farming? I guess let's do tundra farming. Because neither, neither of these are maximum. Yeah? Yeah. Because I'm more interested in just increasing my income. And my terraforming rating. And so I should be able to get release of inert gases. Yeah, 100%. Enter. Okay. Still not super confident in my handling of things. I do have a lot more victory points than anybody else. I noticed the AI here specifically is not interested in farming for VP. It looks like they mostly go for finishing the game as fast as humanly possible, or inhumanly possible? Which is amusing, but not necessarily the most effective. I'm pretty sure that person with ants is just absolutely scumming all those tardigrades off of that one character. Why is it 
Why does that character guy keep getting 27? I see that pop up often, and I'm curious. Okay, actions, gain money. Sadly, it can only be used once per round, but that's okay. Alright, so grass would be nice, but let's go release of inner gases. AKA, make Mars farts and enter. Uh, we're getting close to being able to use fish, and we're gonna get a shit ton of victory points off of it, even if I'm not actually able to use it for many rounds, period. I'm still going to be able to go bananas. Uh, with that one comet drop. Not going to be able to get the water tile off of it, but I never was going to be able to. Because the four victory points from, from dropping it more than anything else. I need I need trees. I, I guess one option is... Uh, the one problem is greenery is rather expensive. We can still get it. Uh, do we pop a sabotage? Yeah, let's... Let's sab maybe sabotage somebody. Go back a bit. Anybody have anything useful? Who's my most direct competitor? Purple, maybe? That's like purple or red. Red... Red might be it, actually. Okay, so we're going to take metal. Metal from red. And I don't have any other actions. And then we just wait. Not as solid a, a position, but I keep saying that. The th part of the thing, the thing is we don't have a lot of those secret victory point generators sitting around. But then again, none of my none of my opponents have any secret victory point generators. Wait, yellow had four four victory points. Okay, so yeah, con concern is mounting. And I start last. I go last. It's fine. Fine, I got fish. So, sponsors is money. I like that. I like that a lot. Mining rights. Invention contest is pretty good. So, let's grab sponsors, because money. Invention contest, and we want mining rights. Yeah. Wait. Uh, it's tempting? I'll grab it. It's not really what I'm looking for, but that's okay. Still trying to decide if I want to just start shitting trees down. Sounds ridiculous, but still. It certainly helped my terraform rating. Is that a milestone I can go for? Terraformer is actually a milestone I can go for. I'm so curious why whenever it's Blue's turn, he just gets money back. It looks like he gets money back. It's probably not the case. Just what it looks like. Okay, so still waiting on large convoy. We probably want to do... Actually, I think I can... I have enough money, I think, to get all of these. Because this is going to be eight. Yeah. So I can, I can chuck all of these down simultaneously. Simultaneously. 
We want to do grass. We want to do mining rights. Uh, let's start with mining rights. Get a discount. And where can I plunk it down? I mean, honestly, I like the extra metal. But I'm going to put it down here just to make this guy's life slightly harder. Oh, that also got me money. Hell yeah. I forgot. You get money if you put stuff down next to water. Doesn't matter what it is. Okay. Next up. I don't know. Sponsors? Or let's do invention contest. Let's see if we get something amazing. Minus plant, gain plant. Tempting. Mm, yeah. Very tempting. Otherwise, solar wind power. Kinda? What's local heat trapping? Cheap event. Spend five heat to either gain four plants or add two animals to another card. Okay, that actually that actually might be the best thing here. Cause moss would be good for plant generation, but I just don't think I'm gonna be able to utilize it that much. I'm gonna grab local heat trapping. Because that's two fish. And no actions left. End turn. The more fish I can just puke onto the field, the better. Let's see. Oh, was Space Haven. Oh, somebody actually got that. Oh, one of these guys has the, uh... I want to take a look at some things. Because it, blue has five victory points, yellow has four. So they're, they're starting to catch up to me in that regard. I have a lot of money. I got grass, I got sponsors. These are good things. Uh, we want to do sponsors, 100%. The more my income is, the more stupid junk I can just jam down. Tempting to just buy a greenery and save the rest for later. Yeah, let's let's do that, especially when we still have the op option to. Oh, and that uh, four coin refund counts for for cities and greenery, so that's that's actually really nice. I'll keep that in mind. No actions left. It's not the end here. One wants grace. I want grace. So I've only partially been utilizing what I have. Okay, this leaves me with nine. Nine is enough for local heat trapping, but I don't want that. Grass is a little bit more expensive. Oh, Arctic algae. When an ocean tile is played, gain two plants. Well, that's a little late. And never going to be able to use that one. Uh, let's see. Standard projects. Stell. Let's sell local heat trapping. It's... Yeah. Or, no. No, 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 no. We want to sell Arctic algae. I don't think there's anything else I can do. I've got ten. Let's just accept the money and wait. Okay, and keep waiting. Wander needs the Mars grass. Hell yeah. You can call it the Elon's Elon's Musk. That actually works really, really too perfectly. Cause I think I'm even playing as the uh the Elon Musk ish faction. Ki kinda. Kinda. Kinda sort of. Okay, so what do we got? Uh Let's see. Add two microbes to another card. Increase heat production and plant production. That's rough. Enhanced alloys. Each titanium you have is worth one more. Each steel you have is worth one more. That's actually really good. Permafrost extraction is no good. And viral enhancers. What's up with this?
When you play a plant, microbe, or animal tag, including this, gain one plant or add one resource to that card. Shit, that's good. I have no idea if advanced alloys is useful at this point. I don't think so. I, I think it's too late game for this. This would have been an amazing thing to get on maybe the previous round. We're just going to grab the viral enhancers. Is that a city? Oh, no, that's the restricted area. I think that's just a vi visual bug with blue. Because I just see money, like, go right back down, and I'm confused why. Either that or blue is cheating. Holy crap, oxygen. That kind of screws over my whole fish, fish strategy here. It mes messes up an amount. Still can't play fish. Hmm. One more and I can play fish. I guess... I could always buy an asteroid. I don't want to. So we want to get the viral enhancers down. And we want to get the grass down. Okay. And I have, I have a tree that I can put down, but we have to wait for a bit. Hmm, I might actually not be able to get up to 25 terraform rating. So, I'm winning on mining, so we might want to just hold on to those resources and just accept the free award. The discount would be nice, but... or not okay some of their incomes are starting to get a little close to mine not much I can do about it okay so landlord no way am I catching up on that thermalist is tough miner I can probably get Let's take a look at red. Red just does not have the production to, to keep up. As long as I don't use what I've got. Okay. So let's convert to a greenery. A little, little late for the terraform rating, but that's okay. Convert one of those metals into money. Uh, let's see. Standard projects. What else do I have? There's no particularly abusive points that I could put a city down and gain the benefit of. A bit unfortunate, but that's okay. I got 35 mega credits. I could use that to buy a, a whole bunch of greenery. Or another city. What are we looking at? Milestones. I don't think anybody's really going for milestones here. Like, purple's probably going to get mayor. Luckily, uh... I don't know. Let's see. I'm just going to wait for them. Speaking of, have you tried any Soylent products? I hear mixed things. I like them. Uh, I've got a case, actually, of Soylent arriving tomorrow. They're a little expensive, but... Like, they do what they're designed to do, which is pretty much just be calories and vitamins. And kind of a meal replacement. It's nothing... It's not really that different from, like, any diet shake or all the other junk that you find in the uh, weight loss section of the grocery store. Ooh, boy, that's a lot of cash. But yeah, I, I specifically 
Uh, we'll drink the chocolate stuff. I, I like the bottled stuff. I, I looked at the powder. I was trying to do the math for it, and it looks like it's actually about the same. Asteroid mining. It's worth two victory points. That's not a bad idea. Ooh. Increase your... That could be really good. I don't actually know if that's good, but I like the idea of it. Asteroid mining is expensive as hell. It's gonna... Hmm. I'm gonna grab Toll Station. No matter what, that sounds hilarious. I'm gonna pick up Asteroid Mining, because I've got... I've got st stupid amounts of cash. And there's no reason not to. Okay. Probably should have checked for other things anyway. So we've got Landlord. You know, honestly, if I worked my ass off, I could probably get that. Thermalist is pushing it. Miner, I have such a commanding lead on. I doubt anybody is catching up there. Okay, it's getting spooky, but that's fine because I got fish. All right. Decrease any plant production by one. That's fine. Okay, so we're going to hurt... Not... What? To take it away from Tharsis. Okay, then we're going to go for the animal, extra animals on that fish card. Alright, next up, it's time. Alright. I think I'm just going to go for the discount. We need that money. Alright, so that draws me two cards and gets me four animals to put on the fish. What are the new cards I just got it? I got. So I got the ore processor, a little late on that one, and the imported GHG, which also eh, you know that actually that I'll play it if I if I need to. I'm hoping we get one more round. So I might play really slowly for a bit. Because there's nothing I need to do to rush. But if they manage to get this up to eight... Yep, there it goes. Okay, it's ending. Which means I might actually win the heat, heat thing. Okay, let's take a look. So, Thermalist. <laughs> they just gave that to me! Miner. Uh, as long as I don't spend any more, I'll be okay. Landlord would be tough. So, I want to quick take a look. Okay. So, back to mine. How much do I have? Landlord would be really hard given the situation. I don't think I'm I don't think I'm gonna get landlord. What I can get is toll station. Really? That much? Only that much? Huh. Okay, so let's do local heat trapping. Which should be fine. We're going to do two animals on the fish. And then end turn. And purple really wants that landlord award. Probably best that I didn't com compete for it.
Yeah, so I never got it up, got up to the 35 terraforming rate, ranking. I thought I would be able to, but didn't quite make it there. Okay, so I got 30. I could do asteroid mining. I don't think I need it. Baseline, nobody else is going to have enough raw metal to keep up with my production. And Red's already ended his turn, so... Unless something gets really funky, we're good there. Uh, ore processor is useless. Imported GHG. I guess let's take a look at everybody's heat production. That might actually be a good idea. Okay, so we want to do the imported GHG. Or first actions... Place another greenery. Put it down right there. An action two out of two. Get the imported gig. Just in case. Okay. So this leaves me solidly in the lead as far as the income goes. But hate to see IRL score tracking for this board game. You don't score track live. You usually score track at the very end and add things up kind of sequentially. Damn, they're just chucking them down. It's fun to watch. But yeah, it's, it's usually fairly easy to see. Who, who has like a commanding lead? Let's skip my turn. I only have a bit of money. I got nine. I'm not going to be able to play anything else. I could put down the ore processor, but I don't think it's going to help me. Because, yeah, we have Mayor and Gardener. Think it up to Builder. Landlord. Eh. Yeah, I get two of them. They just handed me these. All right, we're just going to we're just going to end our turn. I think we win this one. Yeah. So I'm good there. My terraforming rating actually will help out a fair bit. But let, let's see this all stack up. I don't I don't get to generate any more fish. Yes, yeah, so I don't have enough plants. Part of the reason why I usually don't go for greenery and plant production is enemies tend to target that. And so by not targeting, uh, by not having that as a a potential weak point, I just don't have to worry about it. So we take we take home two awards right off the bat, which is really nice. Didn't get any milestones, but that does not surprise. Greenery was not my strong suit. Though I guess I did okay. Purple cities, though. They were aggressive. Victory points, though, you can't even come close. Good luck. Alright, are we good? I think we're good. Green wins! Hooray! I win. Okay. So, not bad. I'm... I might actually consider buying... A uh, spare copy of this for my brother or something so we can play it together at some point. But I think for now, I am satisfied. This game is pretty good. I absolutely am going to have to pick up, uh, was it Carcassonne and a couple others? And maybe go back to Armello for a couple of rounds at some point. I miss playing board games. I didn't really get into them when I was younger, mainly just because we only had a couple of them. Oh, it's $7.50 on Gamers Gate right now. Uh, this one or Carcassonne? I'll have to look. Uh, one way or another, uh, I, it's, it's nice to go back to, to playing board games and I'd like to play, oh, this one is, yeah. So yeah, if you want to pick it up now, like right now, now, uh, there is apparently a historical sale on Gamersgate, uh, which is not anything to do with the internet controversy. That poor site probably got hammered as a result, but anyway, uh, it's pretty good as far as like board games trans 
transforms into a digital format? Not bad. If there are any others that I should keep an eye out for, let me know, because I'd actually like to play more board games. Because I think one of my problems that I've been doing lately is just kind of playing games very sequentially. You know, every day is going to be a new episode of Pokemon and stuff. I think that's fine, but it'd be nice to have kind of a revolving cast of just like neat little games that I like to play here and there. Uh, that aren't necessarily episodes 1, 2, 3, 4, and whatnot. So Mystic Veil vale is pretty good, Carcassonne is pretty good. I'll, I'll take a look. And I know a lot of people have said Talisman. I think I have Talisman too, so I should do that as well. Anywho, do I mean digital board games? Yeah. Yeah, I do. I won't play more of them.